Hey, my name is Barry J. Neely, and I am going to take you through setting up Vienna Ensemble Pro on a Mac in the DAW Digital Performer. The reason I'm going to get so specific is because I found a lot of other videos online on how to set up Vienna Ensemble Pro within Pro Tools and Logic. There might be a lot of universal things that would help you in your setup, but again, Vienna Ensemble Pro setting up in Motu's Digital Performer. First, I need to go through what Vienna Ensemble Pro is and what it isn't. Vienna Ensemble Pro is not a virtual instrument. It is a host for virtual instruments. It can actually host any company, any brand. It can even access 32-bit and 64-bit virtual instruments in case you have some older virtual instruments. I'm not going to go into how to do that, but just know that that is a possibility. The other advantage of Vienna Ensemble Pro is that you can actually spread it out over multiple computers on your network that your DAW can point to. You don't need an external audio interface. You don't need that at all. It's all routed through Ethernet. That being said, it's also advantageous on a single computer because your DAW will point to this server of virtual instruments, and you can just close your sessions and open your sessions without loading those virtual instruments because they're already loaded in a separate program of Vienna Ensemble Pro. Now quickly talk about dongles. You do need a dongle for Vienna Ensemble Pro, and it's not iLock, it's its own company, Steinberg. So if you have Cubase, you might be in luck, but I didn't have anything made by Steinberg, so I had to buy separate dongles for Vienna Ensemble Pro. However, you do not need a dongle for the plugin in your DAW that points to Vienna Ensemble Pro. You only need a dongle, the Steinberg Key dongle, for the computers that are running the Vienna Ensemble Pro server. I'm just trying to be specific with all this because, well, I got confused a lot at first. Now, if you have multiple computers running Vienna Ensemble Pro, how do you access those computers? Within Mac, you can do it all within screen sharing. You have to have your computers connected with each other. If you only have one secondary computer and you have your ethernet ports available on your main computer and your secondary computer, you can literally just take an ethernet cable, plug it into one computer's ethernet and the other, and it will show up on that network. If you have multiple secondary computers like I do, and I'll show you real quick, you need to buy a separate router, which is pretty cheap, only 25 bucks, an ethernet router. You plug in with all your ethernet cables and that's how you'll connect through the network. So when you have a bunch of secondary computers to set up, I would recommend initially setting up those computers by plugging in a picture monitor directly to those computers and the keyboard and setting up the OS and all, you know, putting it on your network and all that. But then when you need to start accessing the computers once you just need to, you know, install regular software, well then you can access that through screen sharing. And I'll show you real quick. It is in system preferences and it is under the sharing tab, and it is remote management and remote login. Now, honestly, I don't remember the ins and outs of how I did this, but that's how you will set it up to access your secondary computers from your main computer. So, where do you find those computers? Well, I find them on my network, Music X and Music Y. So, Music X, share screen. There is the screen of my secondary computer. Now, even though that's a picture of Catalina. I'm not running Catalina on these secondary computers. I'm only running Mojave. Uh, I just like the picture. So going back to dongles, well, keep in mind, if you're spreading out your virtual instruments over several computers, well, then you need to have the appropriate dongles for those computers. So I actually had to buy a few iLocks. I think I have three iLocks at this point because on this first secondary computer, I'm running Vienna Ensemble Pro with the Steinberg key. And then Sample Tank, which was an online authorization. Mach 5 needs the iLock. And my other computer, my other secondary computer that's running all my East-West software, that also required an iLock and, of course, the Steinberg key for Vienna Ensemble Pro. So let's dive into the Vienna Ensemble Pro itself. Remember, it is called the Vienna Ensemble Pro server. And we start with a blank page. So what do we do? There are these things within Vienna Ensemble Pro called instances. Within your main computer's DAW, you will need to add a Vienna Ensemble Pro plugin for each instance. So I would recommend for starters, having one virtual instrument per instance, just to keep it easy. 
Now I'm gonna call this instance, hey you, and you'll see why. And I'm gonna add insert plugin, insert Mach 5. There's Mach 5 right there. It was already installed, ready to go. And I'm gonna put a uh, quick piano on there. A very main thing, and I do not know why this is the thing. I just learned it on a YouTube video. Somebody told me once, and it saved me. Set this thing to all. Just do it. I don't know why either. It's a MIDI thing, and it's just easier if you set it to all. Now we're going to go into Digital Performer. I created this blank document, so it's a little easier. And there is an instrument track, a blank instrument track, on my V-Rack. And that's where I usually host my virtual instruments, and that's going to be no different with Vienna Ensemble Pro. But I have to think of Vienna Ensemble Pro as my virtual instrument, even though it's just pointing to another computer on my network. Go into VSL, add the Vienna Ensemble Pro plugin. Uh, there is the MAS version, which I might go to in detail a little bit later, but just for now, stick with the Vienna Ensemble Pro. And there it is. I'm going to call it VEP. Now, remember, on the secondary computer, I have this instance that this plugin will point to, and it's called Hey You. Go into here, connect. There is my list of available instances that I can connect to. I'm going to go create a MIDI track. I'm going to call it Piano. I'm going to go and select VEPA1 and connected, done. At the end of every one of your sessions with Vienna Ensemble Pro, make sure to go to Save Server Project. That's the key.